started to uh, keep my seat and not have words because words did not express all of the time that we had together and uh, the family, the love that we have for each other. Uh, I could go back to stories and stories. Hey <laughs> man, you all would pull my coattail. Two minutes would be over. And, uh, uh, so, so you know, we. Uh, uh, I'm I'm honored to be here. Uh, I understand what this is all about. Hey man, to be absent from the body, yeah. just to be present with the Lord. Amen. And so I understand the concept. Uh, I'm kind of like my brother. That don't mean that it doesn't hurt. That don't mean that we don't miss him, but I understand it. And so uh, it's for this reason that we live right, that we try to get our act together. And thank God for God being a God who loves us. Amen. Amen. Who looks beyond our faults and sees what we really need. And sometimes what we need is long suffering and understanding and Amen. Forgiveness and mercy. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 He doesn't give us what we deserve, but he gives us because of who he is. Oh, yeah. Amen. amen. Life eternal. Amen. Full of glory. God bless you. Amen. I remember how uh, the Lord blessed him to start his own business and the uh, steps that he went through to get that place together and put it together. And he was proud and hallelujah. He's a businessman. He always tried to uh, have excellence in everything that he did. And I was just excited to be a part of the family. Amen. Amen. God bless Brother Leonard Collins. Amen. We, I don't think many people call him Leonard. Uh, we call him Lenny. And uh, I remember when uh, the Lord called him to ministry. I think it was more of a business deal. Than he <laughs> <laughs> but because he excelled, he went further and said, I, I need to go to the Lord. So he got his letter of recommendation and went before the uh, ordination board. And uh, they had no problems with uh, uh, Elder Leonard Collins. And he came out. Amen. On top, and God is still good. I remember, amen, many times the conversations he would have with uh, Deacon. Of course, we made him a minister when he was going over to the Philippines. But, amen. Uh, he was Deacon College there. Uh, he had conversations with uh, Brother Leonard, trying to keep him on track on the spiritual side, not just the physical side, but the spiritual side. Uh, and Brother Collins, uh, uh, he was, uh, he was uh, uh, a rare breed. Yeah. Man. Uh, and he had to be because he had so many children. He had to keep them all in line and yeah. make, make it work and make it come together. Amen. Mother Collins would be always intervening. Mm -hmm. Amen. Try to keep Brother Collins off of some folks. No, no. But uh, God blessed him to get through it. Amen. And, amen. Brother Lenny uh, is, is, uh, has run a good race. Uh, according to the scripture, he has finished his course. Amen. Now is laid up for him the crown of righteousness. Amen. Amen. And the Bible tells us this. He says, what sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are just? When he gets through with all of them, he says, think on these things. So whatever things that you have in your mind, good, good things up there to remember him. Amen. His children, you all know, remember the good times. Remember the good things. Amen. Anything negative that people try to bring up, don't think on those things. Think on these things. And God can be glorified. You can be edified, and the devil can be horrified. Yeah. Amen. <laughs>